His onset of symptoms began six days prior to hospital admission, consisting of chills and bodily discomfort. He did not have a temperature, but his body was warm to the touch. He began taking ibuprofen orally every six hours for three or four doses, with some improvement in his symptoms. Later into the day, weakness and nausea developed, so he took one dose of an over-the-counter medication that included acetaminophen, dextromethorphan, and pseudoephedrine. Again, his symptoms improved after consuming this drug. Two days later, he felt better and was able to play golf, but after the 15th hole, he was weak and fatigued. That same day, he felt bloated, nauseated, and thirsty after eating a meal. Later that evening, he vomited food and bilious liquid. He also had trouble sleeping that night. Three days after the onset of symptoms, he was nauseated and fatigued, which worsened after eating. He developed epigastric and periumbilical pain, which he rated between an 8 and 9 on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the most severe. Persistent hiccuping also erupted. Later on in the day, he passed loose, light brown stool without blood a number of times. A headache and muscle pain developed, and he stopped eating solid foods and only drank a few glasses of water. On the fifth day, he went to his primary care physician. On examination, his breath sounds were normal, bowel sounds were present, and his abdomen was soft with mild tenderness. 100 milligrams of trimethobenzamide hydrochloride was given intramuscularly. A combination of trimethoprim sulfamethoxyl tablets and hyoscyamine were prescribed as needed for abdominal pain, while prochloroperazine was prescribed as needed for nausea. His doctor advised an increased fluid uptake and the patient scheduled a follow-up visit. The following day, nausea, anorexia, and abdominal pain persisted, and urinary output decreased, so the patient went to the emergency room of another hospital. 